church where love lives is a safe place for all where we gather in wonder well this is a hard one nowadays isn't it to think and let think or, or as john wesley is also quoted as saying that we cannot think alike may we not love alike May we not be of one heart, though we are not of one opinion. Without all doubt, we may. It's easy to do that when we're around people who think like us. But today we're surrounded with division of thought and of belief and ways of acting. And that division is really pervasive in our churches, our communities, our country, and in the world. But Methodists have never been people who shrink from a challenge. From our beginnings, we valued the participation of people who are rich and poor from different cultures and backgrounds, education levels and professions, believing that all are children of God and living in the grace of God. So how do we live together in these challenging times? Well, we must covenant to listen to one another, no matter how difficult that might be taking on the challenge of understanding one another in new ways. Of course, people who are doing intentional harm to others need to be held accountable for that. Think and let think does not imply that everything's okay or is to be tolerated. In fact, we're committed to resisting evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms we see them. But it does mean seeing all God's people as part of God's great community of grace. Our true groundings are in our baptism as followers of Jesus Christ who called us to the greatest commandment, to love God and to love neighbor, to love one another. As followers, followers of Jesus, we are committed to that love for all people and living it by doing no harm, doing good, and staying in love with God. church where love lives is a safe place for all where we gather